people. I'm uh, continuing on from my last video, the uh, San Francisco Zoo barrier breaching security BS video <laughs> that precedes this. Anyway, I'm going to try and make it quick because that one was six minutes and I hate making these videos long, but you know I'm long-winded. I try and make sure I get all the information out. And in addition to that, I get out my frustration. So whoever watched through that while I was swearing in parts, I apologize. But, you know, when you're frustrated and you're old and you're just sick of bullshit, is it's, uh, you know, a vulgarity is where you go. Anyway, I ended by saying <laughs> this is all on our director, Tanya Peterson, because it is. I've been saying something about these barriers being able to um, be breached. And when I use the word breached, I mean anything that is not standing like a normal person on the observation side of the barrier. So if you're, you got your kid, I've seen adults do it, but not, I don't think I've seen an adult get up on the barriers in quite a while. I like to say a decade, maybe. It's mostly people with their kids. They will stand their kids on the barriers. They will sit their kids on the barriers. They will hang their kids over the barriers to where the barrier, to where the kids feet are not even touching the barrier. I mean, it's outrageous. And it all, and it's all at code red animals, which are um, for, for this, I'm not going to name all the code red animals, but for the sake of what I'm talking about, it's black bear, it's, um, black rhino and the bears. So, um, it used to include, um, the hippo, but we don't have the, um, Nile hippo anymore. So it, I haven't seen people hanging over into, into the exhibit for the pygmy hippo. Anyway. I have not called security on people standing and sitting their kids on barriers. I think it's been years. I mean, it really has been, I'm pretty sure. I mean, I'm losing track of time because I'm old and I'm overwhelmed and just, you know, tired of it. But, you know, I, I just don't because nothing ever happens. And I know that. So there was two opposite ends of things today. And, um, the reason that I made the call about the guy that I described in the previous video um, hanging his kid over at Black Rhino was because, again, it was a dangling situation. The kid was not sitting or standing. It was being dangled over the barrier. If it was just like what I saw at Bears where the guy was had his kid standing on the barrier – then I probably wouldn't have called because I just, I just can't anymore. <laughs> it's just that, I mean, like I've tried everything. I mean, like every single thing. I mean, at one point I even just was like, okay, I'm just going to take photos of it and I'm going to tweet it while I'm at the zoo. I'm going to tweet it to the zoo and the AZA. That, that didn't even do anything. Nobody cares. And I don't know what the chain of command uh, bullshit is at the zoo that the security can't, just get rid of people who are making offenses or they can't um, obviously uh, see um, photo or video proof that somebody is doing something and do something about it. I mean, are they waiting for an animal to get killed or a kid to get killed? I mean, that's all people care about really is, is the humans. They don't really care about animals. And so, you know, I don't know. It's just like the coyotes in the park. One bit the little girl the other day. They didn't tranquilize them and take their DNA. They they shot they 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 killed three coyotes, um, just to, who happened to be around, just in case one of them was a DNA match. And if it wasn't, they were going to come back and kill more. And there's dens in the botanical garden, so you know, and nobody can uh, confirm how many dens there are. There used to be three, so who knows there could be orphan pups in dens starving to death now nobody seems to give a shit i've been talking to people for a week about it anyway let's move on to the zoo situation because now i'm at four minutes so what um and look how red my ears are this is because i'm all hyped up i bet you my blood pressure is really high this kind of shit just gets me going i tell you oh, anyway i need a cocktail but <laughs> <laughs> this is what I'm telling you. What needs to be done there? Well, first of all, we need to get rid of our director because uh, this has to come down from her. Everything down to what they do on social media 
is has to get run by her. So, um, you know, how they process the security stuff has to go from her to whoever's in charge of there, a security operation, wh- whoever, I don't care. It's people who aren't doing anything is what I, is my opinion because I've had dealings with all of them. But anyway, um, back to the uh, situation at hand, the, the, the physical thing of the fence. They need to put an addition to this fence and that needs to be another fence attached to it so that people cannot sit and hang over and all that stuff. It needs to be at least two feet off of the regular fence or higher. Three feet would be good. But then you get people who are going to lift their kids up so they can see them. You know, another thing, people who go to the zoo are watching this. If you got to lift your kids up and you can't hold them the whole time away from the barrier without leaning them on, sitting them on or standing them on, And that's just too bad that your kids don't get to see that animal. But we can't be having our animals be in danger of losing their lives because you're a lazy shit. I mean, it's just a bottom line of it. I'm sorry people don't like it. Look, I'm spinning because I'm so pissed off. Because this is literally like what, you know, 12 to 14 years of me complaining about this. You know, and I did let it go for a while, like I said. But, you know, I can't. I, 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 you know, I, it would be horrifying to have one of our animals lose their life because of this. It's just insane. Anyway, when I complained about when they moved the ant eater over across from the lion house, they didn't have no barrier there. People were sprawled out, laying there, everything. Director didn't want to do anything. And I know this for a fact because a friend of mine who was a docent there at the time had a conversation with Director Peterson and and they told them, you know, they, sh- they had seen it themselves, plus they knew that I had, you know, video and, and photo proof and had written about it of how these people are like laying on the barriers because the barriers were just concrete, like, um, I don't even think they're waist levels, uh, maybe thigh level, you know, people just like, like literally sprawled out on there sometimes and hanging over and whatever. And this is into the animal's home. I mean, my God, people have some respect. You know, if you have a how, uh, um, if your your home has windows that are you know street level or whatever, well, you're gonna have people you like you want you want people hanging in your windows. I mean, it's just crazy. Have some respect for these animals, or don't go to the zoo. Jesus, it's getting ridiculous. I mean, it's been getting ridiculous for a decade or more. But anyway, so anyway, eventually, when AZA accreditation time came around. They built these bamboo fences, and I wrote about this at the time. It wasn't the last accreditation. It was before that. So this is, this is 10 years ago. So they had to, um, they built these, um, some, oh God, I can't even think, scattered, is a, oh, fuck. You know, different heights of bamboo. Scattered is not the right word. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just tired. But anyway, you know what I mean? So like, you know, jagged, like, um, like jaggedy, you know, so that they were different heights so that it wasn't all straight across where people would then take advantage and sit on top of that. So, you know, jaggedy like this. So it went across the whole area, which is two exhibits. It was, um, and I'll put this in my blog post. If anyone wants to read the blog post, I'll link it down. You link to my blog down below and you can go and look for it. Ugh, it's Friday now. I probably won't get to it until Sunday because it exhausts me. I have to like, you know, and hypes me up. I got to like have a chill out time before I attack that. But anyway, um, they put that up along the whole area in front of Ant Eater and what was Bobcat at the time, which is now the Fox. But <laughs> the crazy thing is, is that they put it in front of the Fox bobcat at the time and that's a netted in enclosure so they got this jaggedy fence there in front of a netted in enclosure but then it code red animals they don't have anything and it's all open air and they have stupid little signs which i'll include in the bog post anyway it's just outrageous so yeah so instead of doing this because the director knows this so if any of our animals while she is still there Director Tanya Peterson, any animal deaths that ever result from one of these barrier breachings is on you. And I know you don't care about the animals because if you did, a lot of things there wouldn't be happening. That said, 
this needs to happen. You need to fucking get these fences, these barriers with some kind of jaggedy uh, two and a half, two, three feet fencing going on along there. They just built some cra crazy fencing over at chimpanzees. You can build some fencing to help keep Keep our keep our black rhino and our bears safe, black bears and grizzly bears in their grotto, because it's insanity that what goes on. Not that should not be going on, and keepers should not have to be monitoring what visitors are doing. Keepers are there to take care of the animals. You short staff them enough that they don't need to be doing a, a security's job. And then now we come up to security, which I've already talked about before. Look, I got 10 minutes, but I don't care. I'm going to keep on going because this is bullshit. I mean, you can stop anytime you want. But, you know, security saying that uh, they can't do it unless they see it. You know, if somebody, member of the public, shows you a photo of people standing on a barrier, or hanging over a barrier, sitting on a barrier... That's like you seeing it because you're see you're seeing it in the photo. Jesus, criminy heck. Anyway, and those people should be kicked out. That's why I made the second call about the guy standing on there because this was his second offense. You know, wonder what I wonder, and and then they just go on by. Wonder if this guy moved on. So he already hit black bears. He already hit black rhino. I wonder if he moved on to grizzly to the grizzlies and um, dropped his kid in and one of the grizzlies went toward it and got killed for it. I mean, that could happen. It's insanity that they let this guy go along his merry way. But, you know, it doesn't surprise me because, you know, I reported once when they were having their booze fest in October, uh, people throwing stuff at um, flamingos sitting on nests with eggs under them. People were throwing stuff at them. I reported it. Nothing happened. Nobody, nobody got kicked out. Nothing. You know, there needs to be more better rules over at the zoo that they're not going to put up with shit people messing around with the animals. You come in, you act normal or you, or you get thrown out. That's how it needs to be. I'm, I'm sick of it. Fuckers. Anyway. Oh, God, I went through the whole thing without saying fuckers. And <laughs> I just had to add it in. It just comes out, I tell you. Anyway, if you don't like it, don't watch my videos because I don't really care. I'm going to say what I want to say and express myself the way I want to express it because I got 16 years of monitoring this place. And I'm, 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 I had enough.